ladies and gentlemen, get ready for combo. Let's see how long the opponent lets us do cool things. Triggers. What is happening? Commanders. <laughs> In my opinion, the most broken deck you're going to see. Monkey. This is Historic Brawl. Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB today in the arena. Slimefoot, Squee as our commander. This is a legendary fungus goblin and whenever this attacks or enters the battlefield, you get a 1-1 sapperling. Then if this is in your graveyard, you can pay one, a black, a red, and a green to sacrifice a sapperling and return Slimefoot and Squee and up to one other creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. Use it as a sorcery. It's a commander you actually want in the graveyard. Yard. And when it comes back, it brings a friend. We have some giant, awesome friends that we can't wait to bring back from the graveyard. And if everything really goes according to plan, we actually have an infinite combo lurking in the deck with these two cards, Pitiless Plunderer and Sling Gang Lieutenant. If you want to see it in action, watch the video. We'll explain everything about it and show it in real time. You know, if I don't completely screw it up trying to do it. This is a really fun way to play Jund because sometimes you reanimate, sometimes you Jund them out, you value them out because this is actually a problematic planeswalker, especially when you get it early. Making a bunch of 1-1s can just run the opponent over. There's a lot of sacrifice synergy with cards like Priest of Forgotten Gods. There's Corvold, there's Crucius. There's just a lot of good stuff cards along with a combo, along with reanimator. So, Every game feels a little bit different and fresh, and that's exactly the kind of thing you look for in a deck in a format like this. But let's not just talk about it, let's play it. It's Historic Brawl Sunday, baby. And remember, if you want standard, you can check out CoolStuffInc.com's channel. All right, let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. On the draw, Goldhound right into Slimefoot and Squee, love it. Oh, good news, guys. Uh, Windows security didn't find any threats. We're safe. Ooh, Grizz. All right, straight, straight to the commander. Let's go. Tireless tracker into a land drop. That tracks. Loot. Giant demons in the yard. Might make the opponent think twice about a block. They don't need to know about deadly dispute, do they? The Gitrog Monster. Yes, of course. Any more cool effects, opponent? No. All right. Sack the slime foot and squee. Decline. Ooh, a Phyrexian Tower and the Hive. Duracio. Um. Gone. Slimefoot and Squee. Bringing out Razaketh? Question mark. <laughs> Annihilating Glare. Decline, kill Gitrog. And now, if the opponent tries to mess with my Sapperling, I'll sack it in response. And I'll go get, like, Tender Shoot Dryad or something else. That makes a Sapperling. So Slimefoot and Squee can continue. And then we'll see if we can combo. The Bog! Well then, I guess I didn't think of that one. 
Okay. You may live another turn, opponent, with your cleverness. Your sneaky falseness. All right, so sack this, sack this, get plunder, sling gang. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we get the plunder first, I think we can win. I think the combo is there. It's kind of easier when you have a demonic tutor on a stick in play. Multiple demonic tutors on a stick in play, to be sure. But it's also a very hard combo to do. No, 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 did I just put it in the command zone? No, tell me I didn't just do that. Cringe. Cringe. <sighs> oh God, what is wrong with me? Why am I this way? Fine, it's fine. This is fine. I know what I'm doing. I'm a master magician. It must be said. This is exactly how I planned it. Everything as intended. Just need another turn now to, to pop off. And in the meantime, I think Razakov is just going to win. But we'll see. Maybe the opponent kills the Razakov. Who knows? Who knows? Weird stuff happens. It's Magic the Gathering. Okay, you've got lands, we get it. Do something with them? Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Decline. Oh my goodness. So, Veil of Summer? Don't think I run it. I would if this were a more competitive queue for sure. In that case, I'll just get our friend and hope we get there. Uh, I accept this damage. Eaten alive indeed. Resolves. Slime foot and squee. Target. We're doing it. All right, so uh, target them, sack goblin, make treasure. Target them, sack goblin, make treasure. Target them, sack goblin. Like this one? Because slime foot and squee is goblin? Decline command zone, sack itself, just to demonstrate the loop. 
use treasures to rebuy Sling Gang Commanda with Slime Foot and Squee. All day, all the way. But that's the loop. And this is the finishing blow. Frog defeated, despite my own best efforts to lose. Whether you are a student of the dojo or a salty mono red scrub, head over to Moxfield, the official home for all of my deck lists. Study the curve, see an example hand, or do a virtual playtest. Whether you're trying to beat the one or study your sensei, find everything you need at Moxfield. Moxfield.com, the best site for Magic the Gathering decks on the internet. We are on the play against Atraxa, Praetor's Voice. Brand new commander, never heard of it. Let's give ourselves the best possible chance to top deck what we need by ramping on turn one. And if we draw a red source, we get to commander on turn two. The Yawgmoth's a really good card. Eden Alive's okay. Meat Hook against Atraxa, that, that'll probably never work. Cha-ching! Who's the man? Let the sapperlings commence. Enters the battlefield or attacks. Make a green sapperling. Sack it for four. Sack a sapperling. Return creature from graveyard to hand. Yeah. Figure it out, opponent. What you got? What you got? Shuffler's sick of Atraxa, too. <laughs> Can't handle a sapperling a turn, huh? You gotta run? You gotta run back to your little hole, Atraxa? Make them scoop, baby. On the draw against Zimone and Dina. I've learned to love that commander. I've played Zimone and Dina since I played that video. Uh, made that video, and I'm still enjoying it. We can keep this hand. It's got a combo piece. It's got a reanimation target if we find a way to discard it, and it has ramp. What'd it do? Wait, what's this? Mill three cards. You may put a non-creature non-land into your hand. Non-creature non-land? Get wrecked. Crucius puts the Razaketh in the graveyard. Sounds wonderful, actually. And then we could go get Emrakul, but I think we'll get something cheaper. I know, the coward selection. Here comes Zimone and Dina. Save the Corrupted Conviction for the Slimefoot, although it's nice to also draw the altar. Cryptolith, right? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. What about to happen? Well, our opponent's going to get to use their Zimone and Dina, so they're on cloud nine. What you going to do now? Ooh. Oh, they're using it on my turn. And they're holding up potential interaction. Well, that could be something. Cryptolith, right? No fear, huh? None. Attack for the sapling. What you gonna do? You're not gonna kill it? I wonder why not. All right. 
Corrupted Conviction. Sack, Slimefoot, and Squee. Do not go to Command Zone. Do not. Fauna Shaman Breach the Multiverse? Crazy. Razaketh. Sack this Sapperling. May I have 8-8 Demon with Demonic Tutor attached to it? Oh, I may. Right now we have three mana. Pay two life, sack a creature. Search for a card. I want... Mamber. Mox Amber. Hmm? Okay. Four mana, guys. Four mana. You know what that does? Something very cool. It gets Pitiless Plunderer. You know what that does? Unlocks more mana. So now we need, now we net a treasure with each creature we sacrifice. So we want to fetch ways to sack creatures for creatures we can sack for mana at a positive. So Skirt Prospector is a good one, but I think we already used it. <laughs> so let's flex on them, huh? This is why Ragavan is a popular card. <laughs> oh wait, this isn't mana positive. What am I thinking? I was thinking it had haste. It doesn't have haste. All right, how do I get more mana? Is there a dark ritual in the deck? That's three, and then I'll need one more. So how do I get it? Wait, there's no dark ritual in this deck? Garbage. Actual failure. I thought there was. <laughs> Cringe. All right, what do we do? We can thought seize their hand. Oh, we can also blow up all their things? That's fun. Makes a treasure. Kills their thing. Goldhound's mana positive, but it's not because it has summoning sickness. Malika Rebirth, huh? Don't think I just run something that can counter that. Okay. <laughs> we let them get it back. And then we go... <laughs> Dead! I don't know why I put this in the command zone either. I'm just throwing. All right, what do we want for the rebuild? We're going to have six mana. This seems really good.
Go, Corvold. Show them the pain that Jun can bring. Might just breach the multiverse, might just Emrakul. Our opponent might just Emergent Ultimatum, win the game. But it does depend if they're good at Emergent Ultimatums. Some aren't. Uh, like from here, giving them an extra turn doesn't scare me. Giving them Omniscience doesn't scare me a ton. Maybe it should. They only have two cards and no active commander. No timeouts. You gotta find the cards. Or what are you gonna do? Uh, opponent? Opponent, respond. Respond, opponent. Decision paralysis. Oh my God, look how low it is. <laughs> uh, let's see. Two turns you get. Let's see if we can beat two turns. Like, what are they going to do? Play Zimone and Dina, and then they have one good turn? I accept. The Raz are kept in the graveyard. We can't give them Breach. Get back Invasion. What's Invasion going to get? They don't have a Time Walk in their deck yet. Okay. I mean, that can get a time warp out of the graveyard, but they can't cast it. Okay, so they get the breach. So we have to breach from first. Doable. I'm up to that. We are down to 11 against Zimone and Dina, though. Toski. Seems good. No response. Uh, you? <laughs> what do you guys think? Oracle of the Alpha, Liliana Dreadhorde General? Oh, that seems, that seems dirty. That seems very dirty. Yes. Good, good. I make a zombie. All right, can I combo from here somehow? We already have the Amber. We haven't played a land yet this turn, so I need to go get black mana. Untapped black. Draw and draw down to seven. Seven is not much, especially facing the Dina. Warren Clex, no big deal. All right, we need to untap from this spot. It's gonna, it's, it's kind of perilous because we're gonna lose two, then we're gonna lose two more. We're gonna be at three. They don't need to find much to win this. Well, they don't have much to attack with, at least. Just draw more lands, please. I think if they had a time warp, they win. Like, if they get a way to get their time warp back out of their graveyard, they win, too. Uh-huh. Scary. Thoughts? He's. <laughs> you might need the Emrakul. I don't know, man. You tell me. You tell me. What has to go? <laughs> oh my goodness. And the answer is Emrakul. Menace coming in. Down to one. Can you finish the job? You just need to do one. If they had a way to draw two cards on my turn, that would do it. All right. 
not quite dead. But what's the play? What is the play? Could kill both of these just with a Liliana minus. Then the opponent has Vorinclex in hand, which we tighten and then we thought sees the Vorinclex and then they're down to Uro. Drop the bomb on him. Five life and four, four. No Vorinclex. Cav off the top. Okay. Cav with Time Warp in Graveyard, along with other busted cards, is very scary. How do we exile? The Eaten Alive still in the deck? I believe I saved the Eaten Alive. But I also want to Eaten Alive the Uro. Striking it rich. Caskwe, make dorks. One, two, three, four, five. Then one, two, three, four, five. Hold. Hold, baby, hold. Opponent? Okay. Easy. Adelie's Wizards. Very fast, very dangerous. Lightning Bolt Sleeves. Opponent, I hate them already. Let's keep this because we have a turn two commander. Turn one Soul Scar Mage. Ugh. Turn two Infantry. Their curve is perfect so far. All right, let's get out Slimy and Squee. Man, the <laughs> okay. How does the Wizards deck always have the one Wizards Lightning, huh? What the hell is that? Babel? Sure. Look how good they are at magic. Cavalier of Thorns, huh? Hmm. Spider comes out, we sacrifice Slimefoot again, and we kill Adelie's. And then when they kill the spider, we gain life. So that's pretty good. Or we get the Cavalier, and then we might Bone Shards this turn. Both are... I'm not sure. I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to go with the one with the higher upside, in my opinion. We do get Bone Shards this turn. That's pretty hype.
Get her out of here. I'm trying to jund him out over here. Oh, they didn't like that. Oh, I'm sorry. What's your beautiful curve thwarted? By Slimefoot and Squee, the dynamic duo. On the play, Faithless Looting. Let's do it. Drop the big ones in the yard. Goose. Do we need to kill a goose? I don't even run goose in my version of this deck. So let's play the Cryptolith right. Creeper? They have no blue mana. If we kill the Creeper, they might continue to have no blue mana, but we I know they'll top deck it. I know how this game works. Okay. We have an interesting spot here. What do we do? What do we do? I don't have enough. Like, if I play the altar and sack this, I don't have the colored mana to get it back. So let's go like this. And this. In this? Oh, -ho! that's gonna be a lot of mana next turn. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Opponent, do something about these. Don't let me just get away with this. It's disgusting. <laughs> Who knows what'll happen next turn if you let me have these things. Okay. Right. Uh, not what I had in mind. <laughs> How to do it. How to do it. So they're missing. I should have just killed this in the first place. I was trying to be nice. That's what I get. And now they top deck the blue source. Oh, they didn't. They didn't. Fair magic continues. Innkeeper. Go away. Uh, these aren't the droids I'm looking for. Looks like I don't have much of a choice. You will draw all the land in your deck and like it. Now they draw the blue. Busted. Absolutely busted. Sapperling? Slice and dicer? I mean, that's, uh, that's a card. Got a couple cards here, to be honest. Which one am I supposed to play? You or you?
get him. If I had one more black here, I think I could play Grizzle Brand this turn too. Uh, okay. That's a ramp card, technically. Why does it want to sack? It wants to sack Massacre Girl. I actually think that's worth it here. I think that's right. I think that's right. To the moon! All right, Grizzle Brand. We're at 25 life and we're drawing seven. Pitiless Plunder, Eaten Alive, Elvish Mystic Spark Harvest. I don't think they can burn me. Maybe I should keep going. This equals two equals plunderer. How do I get... Man, is there a way? The right draw, I could win this turn. I don't think any of that's it. None of those are the cheaper creatures I needed. Cool. Anything here that I need in the graveyard? Don't think so. All right, opponent, can you kill me? Maybe in two turns, you can figure out a way. That's just a time warp and go. Grizzle Brand lives. Grizzle Daddy wins. On the play with a Priest of Forgotten God hand. Yes. I, I love this card with our commander. Up against Zimone and Dina, there's usually little sacrifice fodder creatures. But I think we can handle it. I still think it's worth it, especially with a hook. Say hello to Bestie. Into the north. Is it going to be the build of Zimone and Dina that I put out? I've got to tell you, I still love that deck. I made some minor changes, but the strategy is the same. Good cards. And a commander with some nice value creatures, and I love it. Let's hold. Elves! Elves! Why are there so many? Okay. We do this now? Nope. This is fine. This is fine. We chill. What is Fonzie like? That's right. Fonzie is cool. And that's what we're gonna be, honey bunny. We're gonna be cool. Okay. Opponent loves their sacrifice. How much do we want Squee in the graveyard? I guess we do, don't we? That is part of our strategy.
takes it. Love that for us. Yeah, they are full-blown sacrifice. Oh, just an untapped land. And we would have been able to breach. All right. All right, all right, all right. But we do get to deploy. All kinds of fun. Should we use our treasure on the Fauna Shaman, though? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have potential breach if we top a land and casualties if we don't. Let's chill. They might sweep the board, too, in which case it's good to hold back. Crying bottom, holding up two mysterious mana. Are you now? Rawr! Give him the business. So, see if we can do some uh, interesting dancing here. Attack these creatures. Hit the opponent, make two mana. Options like breach the multiverse, but I think our opponent might counter it. That is my big concern. So I'm going to take the more safe route, uh, safe route, I would say. And we're going to play the sacrifice deck as well. Mm-hmm. Let's see if we can resolve Diabolic Intent. I'm gonna put the Slime Foot and Squee right back in the graveyard. Maybe the opponent will try to sweep the board to get rid of Sapperlings on me. But, but, I could go get something that makes the Sapperlings. <laughs> I could also, I could also just go big. Just go for a tally. Some kind of a knockout blow. But we have Breach in hand, so we don't need that. What we need is to just keep dancing around them, make them hold up mana, keep the pressure on. Or a sick way to reanimate. So, yeah, I think that the answer is a Duress or Thoughtseize. I think if we just keep them from doing what they want to do, we will be fine. Simone and Dina finally runs up against the priest. Does that mean they have an answer to the priest? Or does it just mean they're getting back Uro? Still something to do with that mana. Bitter Reunion. Can discard Titan and get back Titan. What else is down there? The Gold Hound. Not the most enticing gets backs. But not terrible either. Alright, Thought Seize first. Hook and Conduit. We could just casualties away the Uro and a land, but let's wait for the Conduit.
Go, baby, go. Zvon and Dina out of there. Grizz! Weird timing, bro. All right, keep it coming, keep it coming. I actually don't mind if they uh, destroy the Titan and send it to the graveyard. Squee will play with it some more. Uh, I block. Titan says, who, uh, who are you? What are you doing here? Cobra into conduit. All right. Uh, they are behind. Fungal infection off the top. Give them the business. We got blocks. And we have Slimefoot and Squee in the graveyard. <laughs> Keeping my saprolings because, you know. Slime foot and squee is good. To the moon. And the opponent wants no more. What was I about to get of theirs? Eh? Huh? Huh? What did you get? What did you have for me? Uh, oh, yeah, that's probably good. <laughs> that's probably good. And we are back for the post game wraps. And yeah, everything about this deck is kind of like once in a while, sudden something just happens. So once in a while, you do the combo. Once in a while, you animate Grizzlebrand, like on turn three or something like that. Once in a while, you go absolutely crazy with Cryptolith Rite and Ashnod's Altar. Once in a while, Priest of Forgotten Gods takes over a game. Once in a while, you get back the Ember Cool and you give it haste with Bitter Reunion. Like there's all kinds of moving parts and I absolutely love the way that they come together. And I think that this deck is a really cool, complicated deck to play, and that's part of what makes it fun. So, enjoy it. Try it out. Uh, this is not for somebody who's in a rush to get their dailies done. It's for somebody who really wants to push themselves as a player and deck builder. So, enjoy it. Slimefoot and Squee. That's a wrap on this video, but the Historic Brawl has just begun because we're going to be back for more tomorrow with a standard video on the official Magic the Gathering Arena YouTube channel and Historic Brawl right here on my channel. So, thank you for watching this video. As always, Always, I will see you in the next one. You're cool. CoolStuffInc.com is a proud sponsor of me, CGB, and you can get my unique Dragon Rider token and 5% off your entire order by using the code CGB5 at checkout. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on this sweet dragon token. If you need singles for constructed or kitchen table play, and you want to pick up sealed product or the latest magic accessories, remember to use the code CGB5 at checkout for 5% off and get my Dragon Rider token. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Thank you.